Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve equations using factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So let's start off again with a definition. Polynomial equations. A polynomial of degree n is an expression of the type a n x to the nth power plus a to the um, subscript n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 power plus dot 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 plus a to the 2 uh, a sub 2 x squared plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 where n is a positive integer and a sub n dot 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 a sub 0 are real numbers and a sub n is not equal to 0 setting the polynomial equation or polynomial equal to 0 gives a polynomial equation the total number of solutions, real and complex, to a polynomial equation is equal to the highest exponent, n. All right, so now you got a little definition here. Let's go solve a polynomial by factoring. All right, so number four. We're given 5x to the fourth power equals 80x squared. So the first thing I want to do is get this 80x to the left-hand side. So we have 5x to the fourth power minus 80x squared equals 0. So I just subtracted the 80x squared to both sides. From there, we need to pull something out. What's a common factor in both of these? And 5 goes in 80, x squared's in both. So let's pull out a 5x squared. Why not? We can. Left with x squared here, minus, well, 80 divided by 5 is 16, and the x squared's gone. And that equals 0. All right? So now we have two parts that are being multiplied we can set both of them equal to zero. 5x squared equals zero. x squared minus 16 equals zero. Having some fun, I hope you are. 5x squared equals zero is pretty easy. Divide both sides by five. We have x squared equals zero, right? Zero divided by five is zero. And then x just equals zero. Square root both sides, square root of zero, zero. x equals zero, got it. This right one, x squared minus 16 can be both broken down to be x plus 4 and x minus 4 being multiplied equals 0. And this one again, we set both parts now equal to 0 a second time. x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. So then subtract 4 to both sides, x equals a minus 4, add a 4 to both sides here, x equals a positive 4. So our three or four, four solutions, kind of really three, is x equals 0 negative 4 and positive 4. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, hey, we have to the fourth power right here, right? Shouldn't we have four solutions? Well, zero is what we call a double solution, right? Because if we take a square root of that, it's like a plus or minus zero, which is just two zeros, but you only need to write it once. So our solution here is just x equals zero, minus four, and a positive four. If that wasn't bad enough, let's do another one. This one's by grouping. Oof, solve a polynomial. Yeah, solve a polynomial by grouping. So we have x to the third power plus x squared minus 9x minus 9 equals 0. And we want to solve this bad boy. All right. Well, they say grouping. That was the clue. We see x to the third and x squared. What's a common thing we see in both of those? Oh, x squared. So we have x squared here, x plus 1. Fantastic. Now let's do it again. We see a 9 in both of these. So if we pull out a 9, right, pull out a 9, or actually, what am I pulling out here? Do I pull out a 9 or a negative 9? I think I'm pulling out a negative 9. If I pull out a negative 9, all right, so I pull out a, so this is like, if you want to see it like this, we have a minus 9 like this, right? So we pull out a negative 9, we're left with a positive x here, and then a positive 1 here. And the goal of that was to make these two parts look the same. That's like the goal when you factor by grouping. So now we can write this as, well, x squared minus 9, that's x squared plus a negative 9 right here, times x plus 1 equals 0. And again, essentially we're actually pulling out the x plus 1 from both parts, putting that here, and then x minus 9 right there. So like always, we can set both parts equal to 0, x squared minus 9 equals 0, and x plus 1 equal to 0. From there, we're going to solve each one individually for x. So, a few ways to go about this, okay? Um, 
you can add a nine to both sides. That's the way I would do it. Some people would factor more there, but I'm just gonna do it this way. X squared equals nine, square root of both sides of nine, and X equals plus or minus three. Here, subtract one of both sides. You know how to do that. X equals a negative one. And now we have our three answers, really. X equals, let's go positive three, negative three, and a minus one. And there we have our three answers here for solving this polynomial by factoring. If you learned something here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com